Hi guys, and welcome back to Finding Your Indie. It's it's Monday Marketing Tips and Tricks Day, and we are talking about net over ROI. I'm Bonnie Paulson. And I'm Mandy Stevens. So Bonnie, why don't you explain to everybody what exactly net is? Okay, awesome. So net, when we're talking about as ad managers, Mandy and I are both ad managers with Finding Your Indie. And when we're talking about net, we're talking about net profit after ad spend. This is not about after translations. This is doesn't cover what you spent on, on your covers. And it doesn't include editing fees or promotional fees. What this covers, as far as we're concerned, and when we're talking ads and ads specifically, not marketing, but ads specifically, we're talking about your gross income minus your ad spend equals your net. So what's remaining? So your profit after ad spend. So if you have an ad manager, this should not include the ad manager fee. This should not include the promos and stuff that you had. This is literally looking at specific ad spend compared to the book and the series that you were putting those ad spends on. That's what we're talking about. And and it's kind of funny because I hear people say all the time, well, but my net isn't this. And it's like, yeah, but when you're talking to an ad manager, your net should only be those things that you're talking about. Yeah, yes, exactly. we understand that there's more. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, exactly. So uh, explain to everybody exactly what the ROI is. So ROI is return on investment um, and return on investment. Usually they talk about it in percentages, but when we talk about it, we're going to keep it clear. We're going to talk about it in a ratio, a ratio or a fraction, if you will. So for every dollar you spend, you get a certain amount of money back. And that money is usually represented like this. We're going to put a ratio up above. So it's like, one to two dollars. You might spend a dollar and you get two dollars back. Um, you might spend a dollar and you get thirty dollars back. I would love that. So, yeah. but when we're talking about ROI, that's what we're talking about. The return of investment is can either be in percentages or it can be in ratios. So that's what we're talking about. Okay. So why is one more important than the other? Uh, that's a really good question. So, in in some terms. Uh, like when you're talking about scaling and growth, ROI is really important. So cool. I can tell if you're in a growth period by looking at, say, you say you're like, oh, I just upped my spend and my ROI is at one to two. Mandy and I know that when you're when your returns at one to two, you or like one to five, one to one point five, or one to two, or one to two point five, usually you're in a period of growth if you've just increased your scaling efforts. And what that means is you're ramping up, right? You haven't had an opportunity to have your sales catch up with your spend. And that's okay. You give yourself some time and it's fine. Uh, but usually ROI is really important for that measure. Um, or it's also a good tell to tell us, uh, maybe the audience targeting isn't correct. I'm spending a dollar and I'm making a dollar fifty. Like that's not really the best return. Uh, there's a lot of different things that would tell us what that would be tell like what that would be causing. Uh, maybe it's just on book one. Maybe the series isn't finished. Maybe you're just looking at standalones. Maybe the books are too short to, you know, if you're in KU. So there's a lot of things that would tell us, oh, that isn't the best ROI. However, if you're looking at net, sometimes the ROI might actually be spot on at one to two and you're spending $10,000 and you're getting $20,000 back. I'll take that day return any day, right? right. I'll, I'll give you $10,000 if you'll give me $20,000 back. So really, it's it's a question of which one's better. An ROI of I spend a thousand dollars and I get five thousand dollars back, so that's a one to five, or I'm going to spend maybe two thousand dollars and I'm going to get um, nine thousand dollars back, and so that would give you like a one to four point five, right? So, and but it gives you seven thousand dollars back versus the four thousand dollars back. So your ROI and your net sometimes they're they can play together, sometimes not. But you really, I think for us, it's really important that we focus on net. Are you making a return? Are, do you have a return? And then using the ROI as just one of those analytic points, one of those data points to tell us how to get there and how to scale better. Does that make sense? Yeah, that totally makes sense. So now that you guys know the difference between net and ROI. There are some things that you need to keep in mind as you're working forward on figuring out your ads. Um, we have some rules that we have here at Finding Your Indie. Mandy, you want to start us off? <laughs> yeah. Make sure that you have a goal. Yes. Make sure you have a goal. Um, make sure you're sticking to your brand. And make sure that you're having fun. Because if you're not having fun, what's the point? This, this is just boring. Now, make sure and invite your friends. Hit like and subscribe. And we will see you on our next Monday Marketing Tips and Tricks. Hey, I said it right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye, you guys. Bye.